watching keep watching <laughs> that looks like a mini uh, car seat but no it's not it's a bench hey guys welcome back to my channel this is maria johnson and today i'm going to show you how i made this box cushion this is an excellent job by maria she did our cushion very nice This is the one of these uh, cushion works. Uh, I already took them out of the previous uh, previous cushion fabric. And this is what we got so far. So basically we're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna make new uh, leather cushions. So this is what came out from the fabric, just like this. And it's a little bit dirty, but that's not a problem. We're gonna reuse it, the foam is perfect, perfectly fine. Um, but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add this batting, um, I'm sorry, decon. So we're gonna add a additional layer of one inch uh, decon. As you can see, uh, so it has a lot of volume and it's gonna add a lot of goodness to these cushions. So I already cut it to the size here, and this is what I'm gonna do. So I just want you to see the difference with and without. Um, so I'm gonna wrap it around once, and not in the back. In the back is really not necessary where the zipper is gonna go. We're gonna leave it for now but look at the height that uh, that this uh, this background is creating now it's not necessarily going to um, add a lot of inches to the height but it's going to create a very nice and firm and good structure to the to the cushion and this is going to be the front of it okay so we're going to wrap it around from the back to the front and underneath and this is the profile of it um yeah so if you're curious about the if you're curious about the inches we can check it out so without the background is about four inches cushion with the background is about six inches but once it's going to be pressed down um i'm not going to take that in so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take this outside and, um, and I'm going to uh, use a spray adhesive, spray it on, and then I'm going to start uh, cutting my cushion out. And this is what I'm going to use. I like, uh, I like this brand. And uh, I'm not going to take you outside because it's going to be a fast movement and you're going to see it after it's all done. Basically, I'm just going to spray underneath uh, and then I'm just going to secure this, this background on tightly. So I'll see you when I come back inside. Since we are still here, I just want to show you the difference with and without the, the, the background. You see the height on the... Yeah, so definitely I encourage you to use this background. And um, so this is a very thick batting, basically. Um, but I'm sure you know what background is if you don't. Okay, so we are back. Now the foam on the background is connected. It's all uh, dried. It happened yesterday. As you can see, I wrapped it around the front of the cushion and underneath. And we're going to leave the back open. And again, this is their previous foam. I'm, I'm just re reusing it. It's perfectly fine. I just reinforce it with a layer of background to give the beautiful height. And here I already done the, the, small, the smaller cushion, the back cushion, basically. Um, <clears throat> And look at the difference of the thickness and as you can see i wrap the zipper around and we're gonna do the same to this one now let's move to the fabric so let me put this away and the size of this cushion is exactly 24 24 by 41 so i already have my fabric cut here i have the two um i have the two um big pieces cut the front and the back and the size the size, the size I end up cutting because I want my cushion to be pretty snug. So, like I said, the width of the uh, cushion is 24. Um, so I cut my fabric here at 24 and three quarters. I want it to be pretty snug. So, like I said, I only leave three quarters of a size um, uh, seam allowances, which is going to be on, a, on the edges. So 24 and three quarters, and I cut this one at um, 41 and three quarters. So, so like I said, my my cushion is 24 by um, by 41. So basically, I just added a, uh, I just added a uh, three quarters of an inch. So I end up cutting the fabric at twenty four point seventy five by forty one seventy five. Okay, if you want your cushion to be pretty snug. Um, all right. So I've been I've been sewing for a while, and trust me, I, I know what I'm talking about. Um, of course, everybody have no strategy. This is mine. All right. So now uh, now I'm going to have to cut the perimeter of the um, the size here, the, the the box. Now this is four inches uh, height for. And the batting is one inches each, but I'm not counting that at all because this is going to be squished down basically. And don't take in consideration none of this um, decor. So again, I'm cutting the, the border here um, at 475 as well. So once again, my foam is four inches. This is one, one and one, but I'm not counting that. I'm not taking that into consideration. I'm just going to cut my foam. This is what I'm talking about. With the additional piece of decor, it's going to give it a beautiful roundness instead of just be very, very boring. Okay, but let's do this. Um, Okay, so since we talk about this, um, the next step, I need to cut the, the sides of the box. Um, this is what you can work on. So what you're going to do, you're going to measure uh, two pieces. One is going to be your zipper, which you need to leave a few inches on the side of the cushion to be easy to put a phone inside. And uh, the other piece is going to be uh, from, from here, measure from, from the height of the cushion to the length of the cushion, and again, height. So you're going to add three numbers. 
one, two, and on three, and then your zipper. And this is what you're going to do here. Very easy. Uh, just go ahead and measure from here. Don't don't worry about this cut too much because it's going to be flip inside, and that's what that's what's going to create that little pocket here for the for the zipper to be hidden. And um, it's going to help you later on, and it's going to make your work uh, easy. So measure exactly from here. One, two, and three. Okay. So in this case, on this other cushion, I have I have the following. Like I said, I have 24. Um, 24, and then I have 41, the same as this other one, plus 41, um, plus another 24, okay? So once again, I have the height, 24, the length, 41, and then again, the height, 24, um, and, and I'm going to add those, so it's 4, 5, 5, um, 6, 8, so here I need 89, uh, I'm just going to say 90, I'm just going to add 1 inch, um, so I'm going to cut my, my piece of, uh, of, um, Continuously length at 90 inches times 4.75. Okay, you remember this is 4.75 in my case. So I have four inches here and then the same allowance. I only add 0.75. So, like I said, I already have cut the main two pieces. Now I need to cut the long length 90.475. And before I go ahead and cut my long piece, I want to show you something. I want to show you how I save. Uh, how I always consider when I cut my fabric, I, I keep in consideration just in case I need long pieces. And as you can see here, I probably am close to 90 here without wasting any more of the new panel, if that makes any, any sense. Um, and again, also want to mention here is I have a zipper that's 48 inches. Um, so yeah, here's a, here I have a heavy duty zipper that's 48 inches. And remember my final length of the cushion is 41. So it's gonna give me a few inches to wrap around the, the sides. Um, I'm just gonna divide everything in half and whatever goes on the sides, that's what I'm, that's what I'm taking, just like so. You see, so I have the, and then here I, I finish my zipper with a um, top, top stitch because the, the leather tends to get into the zipper when you close it back and forth. So let's, um, let's keep moving. So let me cut my uh, 90 inches long by 475. Okay, so I figured out this is not wide enough for a 90 inch, so I'm just going to take what is available and I'm going to use the, the one for the zipper. So, um, with that being said, this is what I'm going to do. Um, again, here I have ended up with exactly 4 inches and I have to... Uh, so, I added 1 inch, basically 5, and then I divide that in half, so I need to cut 2 pieces of 2.5 and 2.5 and and uh, for, the, for the zipper part. So, let's see, the scrap of my piece here is... Yep, so I have enough. Um, so, I'm going to use 2.5 uh, and 2.5. Um, and I'm gonna cut the same length as my zipper, 48 inches. So I'm gonna cut two pieces of two and a half strips by 48, and I'll see. So um, here's my fabric and the zipper, and as you can see, I'm placing them face to face. And I'm gonna put a few very tiny pins on the very edge, just to keep everything because everything moves, just as you know. I wanna keep everything in place, especially when you work with leather. So I got my piece of zip, um, I got my piece uh, pinned, and um, here I am at my song. With a uh, zipper foot, I'm gonna go right on the, against the zipper right here. Okay, so here we are. Junkie zipper. Okay, now let's take this to the to the working table. Um, we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side of the zipper. So as you remember, we have the zipper facing down. Now we're going to do the same thing right here. So when you flip the zipper later on, you're gonna see the front. Again, I'm going to pin it. So keep in mind, and at this point you want your zipper to be closed, so you know what you're doing. Once 
once again on a very edge because you don't want to punch that leather in any places. Okay, let's take it. Let's take this to the sewing machine and come with another stitch right there. All right. So let's open the zipper because you cannot start a sewing machine with a big or bulky zipper in the front. Now let's try to move the zipper. But unfortunately, you cannot pass it out the press of being up. So let's do that. Okay. okay. Okay, so my zipper is completed. Now, um, if I'll be a different fabric, we could leave it like that. But unfortunately, this uh, leather is going to tend to uh, to catch the fabric when you pull the zipper back and forth. So from preventing that to happen, we're going to do a top stitch. We're going to do a top stitch. And we're going to sew right here. With that being said, I need to change my, my thread. And this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to go with the longest length here because I'm going to sew on top of the leather and it's going to um, it's going to tend to uh, be uh, difficult to sew. So if you move your length to the lo to the longest length, it's going to help you. Let's see what you got. Let's see the difference. So. I'm sure you can see the stitch versus no stitch. So this is going to help, for example. For example, if I wouldn't have this stitch here, it'll be so much easier to, to catch the fabric. So that's going to prevent from catching. Oh, I'm going to do the same on this other side. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's go to the table. All right, so we are back at the table, and this is what we got. A beautiful finish. The zipper. And now we are going to... Okay, Okay. so uh, now it's not a problem of catching this uh, side here. That's the idea. All right. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do next. Um, I'm going to take every piece, the, 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 main, the main front and back of the cushion, um, also the zipper piece and the, the whole box side. I'm going to take everything and mark them in the very center. Um, so... So when I'm putting them together, I'm gonna have a perfectly matching uh, matching edges. So here is my my band, it's my center, and this is how I mark it very lightly. Pinch, you see that? And I'm doing that both sides. Oh, let me do that again. Right here, on the very corner, a little pinch. There you go. And I have it on both sides, so I'm going to have to match it with the other pieces. The zipper back piece, the same thing. Divide it in half. So, divide it in half and a little pinch. And I know that's my center. Same thing with the main. The main. Okay. Same thing with the main uh, front and back of the cushion. Find the center. Flip it in half and do a little on both sides, up and down. And I'm doing that because I like to <coughs> pin them perfectly. So here's the other one. Um, so when I pin them, they're going to match perfectly. I'm going to try to guess 
and it's easier to sew uh, from the center going to the edges. Okay, this is the last one. And since I have this one in my hand, I'm going to take this piece and um, take the zipper piece and connect this. And as you can see here, this is the intention. You see the matching, matching the, the edges. Now it's going to be so much easier. So that's my half. Again, I'm taking the very thin pins and I'm starting to pin lightly. I'm not stretching anything. Okay, so, um, all right, so before I do that, actually, um, I should be connecting the, this other side with the zipper part. So let me, let me do that, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing, just taking the pieces and join them. I'm going to open the zipper here and uh, just uh, I'll make sure everything is matching before you take into the sewing machine. Now, don't let them move. Don't let them move because you're going to mess up with the zipper, so be extra careful right there. And um, I'm going to take a piece of scrap leather and I'm going to put it right here when I'm, when I'm going to go across the, the zipper. Okay? So I'm going to go right there. So let me show you this part as well. Foot. So when I get to this part on top of the zipper, I'm going to go with the, so you don't have to sew on top of the zipper. the same on the other side all right we're gonna do the same on this other side kind of reinforce when you get to this point Let's go back to the sewing, to the working table. Okay, let's go back here. And now we're going to continue pinning. We're going to join everything, matching those halves. All right. So I'm going to do one side at a time, by the way. Okay, so. Continue pinning. This is going to be a cut right here. So this is how I like to split my, my corner when I get to the, to the end, about a quarter of an inch or three quarters of an inch. Measure that and come with a cut right here somewhere. So I like to cut it on diagonal. You see, so when I turn it like this, this is going to become like that. I like to put the pin right there in the corner. And then when I turn it, I like to put another pin right there in the corner again. Don't let that go. But be very careful, you don't want to make a, a crease. You see? It has to be right there. Now make sure this is going to match when you come on the other side. So uh, at this point, just take out a piece and flip it in half and mark it. I, I'm not going to cut it yet in case I need minimal, minimum adjustments when I get on the other side. So I just mark it and uh, I'll keep that in mind when I get on the other side. 
that's my strategy. Now, when I get to this point, um, I'm going to stop because I'll have to come with this piece and flip it inside, but I don't know exactly where based on the measurements I have on the leftover fabric that's going around. So I'm going to come and sew it, stop right there. And um, I'm going to do the same on this other half. Same thing on this other side. So again, that's my corner. I'm coming about three quarters of an inch down on the um, carpet right there. Put my pin right there before I turn it. And then I have another pin right from, right from this other side. And now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and let's sew. Okay. So as you notice, I like to work, I work in portions. Um, I'm kind of working from centers out to make sure everything is going to be perfect. Right there. Now I'm moving my needle on the very end. So I have about half an inch. Okay. So as I come to the corner here, I'm going very slowly. And I'm trying to end with a needle right there in the corner where I, where I have that cut. And I'm going to stop right there with a needle down and picking up my presser foot and turning the fabric around put it down again Every time I'm moving the fabric around, my needle is down. As I'm coming to the corner again, I'm taking it slowly. Make sure you're not catching any fabric underneath. And right there, I'm turning. And now I'm taking this chunk and I'm moving it towards outside this way in the back. So I'm going to stop right there because this is going to come towards inside and I don't know yet. Now let's go back to the table and we're going to pin again. All right, so uh, the, the top part of the, the back zipper, one piece is done. And now we're going to continue uh, pinning. Now we're going to continue pinning the band um, and again, I'm going to match the other half that I that I cut it earlier. Remember those those cuts right there? Again, just pin. Flip it on. So that's why that's why I want to pin, and that's why I want to cut the centers, and it's going to be so easy, so much easier for you. Now let me get other pins. All right. So once again, I'm starting from the center, pinning from the center, going outwards. Just make sure nothing is moving, uh, everything is flat on the table. Okay, so once again, um, okay, so once again, when you get to the corners, um, you want to uh, go about uh, three quarters in from the edge and about three quarters down. So this is what this is what you're going to cut our uh, this is what you're going to cut our crease right there to turn around. Okay. And then look how easy to turn around. Now when you turn around, don't stretch it too much. Uh, just to let it come naturally to where it's supposed to be folding. And keep pinning. Now we're going to keep pinning coming up. And we're gonna now we're going to make the zipper part. And this is where we are going to join, just like that. Here, unfortunately, I had to add this piece because I didn't have it long enough, uh, what I needed for my... So, just pin. And when you get to this point, whatever flips inside, naturally, let it, let it go inside. And you're just going to pin on so right there where, where everything needs to be connected.
once again, once again measure on this side so you know the other when you get on the other side is good to know uh, to match it so now i like to flip this inside since, since this was added it's going to look better when the final product is finished it's not going to stand out as bad okay let me cut these threads out because i don't want to get them in the zipper Okay, so uh, let me take this to the to the sewing machine, and like I said, I'm gonna sew. All right, so let's do the same on this other side, kind of continuing pinning from from the half um, on the left side. So here I have, here I am in this corner. Um, I think you already got it by now. Get to the corner, just uh, cut that right there. This is gonna make it so much easier to turn it. Like I said, I like to have my pin almost right there with the corner. It's helping me shape it. Now we're going to move up. Moving up. And let's see, when we get to this point with the zipper, what the zipper is, whatever, whatever fabric is, is extra, we're just going to flip it and, and put it under. Once again, you just put the zipper part on top and just continue pinning. All right, here I already have my matching corner. So when I attach the other piece of the cushion, the other part is going to, to match. Now let's take this and continue sewing from what we left before. Continue on the edge. Right there. All right, so continuing our old stitch now when i'm going um, on top of what i folded right here i'm going back and forth a few times that's going to be your edge where the cushion goes in and if you can stretch it too much it's going to give up so that's why i want to reinforce it right there Let's go to the table and let's see. So we came along uh, we came along good. So we got part of the cushion done. And now we're going to attach the other piece of the cushion. So one more piece to attach again. Face it down, face to face, and match the match the centers. Once again, start pinning the centers. Okay. Right there. Pin all the centers, then work your way out from the center, out, outwards, and um, I'll see you after I pin everything, okay? All right, so now the top piece is as well uh, pinned. The top or the bottom, it could be either way. Uh, so I pin it as well. Uh, you can see I left it here because I will need to adjust this uh, when I come back on the other side. Um, I want to make sure everything is perfect, like I said. So um, I'm going to go ahead and sew the whole side again, all the way around. And I will come back to you later when I get to this part again. And make sure before you close it, make sure you leave a portion, a portion of the zipper open because once you close everything, you're not going to be able to, to turn your cushion inside out. Um, you're not going to be able to turn the cushion facing out. All right, so make sure you, you have partially, uh, partially a zipper open, open your zipper. So I'll see you after. Okay, as I'm coming to the end of this uh, last thing in here on, on the last uh, part, I want to show you again how I'm closing, how I'm closing this, uh, this piece. So this is what I'm talking about, this piece right here. It's very important. That's why you want to take everything piece by piece and start from the center working outwards uh, because you're going to end up with a nice nice piece if you do that. If not, you're going to end up with a crooked piece. So. It's also very important the way the zipper closes. So you want to make sure it's nice and straight. Make sure the corner matches and... You see, things want to move. So. Okay, 
is in there. So when you get to that to that part again, uh, double, double, double across a few times, back and forth. And I'm gonna try to match this corner right here. Go and see what we got. All right, so we got the working table, and our cushion is basically done. What we're gonna do now before we turn it facing out? Cut all these threads in here because you don't want to catch them in the zipper. And and also, I like to cut these corners um a little bit so they don't stick out in a cushion, mess up with the shape shape of the cushion. So just basically take out like that. Um, it's going to form. It's going to form with the way the corners are going to look. Oops, I forgot to close this one. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> let me go back and close that in the corner. Okay, I just finished sewing this other last piece. And let's, uh, let's turn the cushion uh, facing out. And by the way, as I'm coming to the end, I just want to mention this is my strategy, okay, of making this cushion. There are many different other ways. Now, if you have nothing good to say, just don't say anything at all. And just go find another channel. Maybe that will suit your needs. Um, all right. And... Also, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I hope you subscribed. If you haven't yet, please do so. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And let's move on. So let's turn this facing out. And this is what I have to do. Basically, focus on the corners, guys, because it's going to make a big difference later on. Shake it up a little. Let's go back to those corners. Try not push your fingers inside. And look how cute this. Look how nice. Look how nice this looks. You see, that's why you want that part flip inside. Don't don't cut it too short. It's better. It's better this way. Let me move it farther so you can see better. Okay, so now we actually are going to. All right, we're not closing yet because I need to put a cushion inside. I just wanted to show you how cute the little pocket is right there. You can even hide the zipper later on. But this is going to help you with pushing the, the cushion inside. Move everything out of my way. Because it's going to come with a big foam. Now, there are two zippers on these cushions. Let me open this other one because it seems to be a little easier to, to maneuver. I don't know why. why. One is so much easier. But anyways, so now when I'm putting my cushion, I'm, I'm, I'm flipping this aside right here. Okay. So I'm getting ready to put in my cushion. So flip this because I don't want to catch my uh, my foam and background in, in here. All right. So once again, make sure your corners are pushed out completely. And now I'm going to bring my cushion. So here she is. Um, I have my cushion and it's going to be a little tricky, but I'm going to have to do it. I'm just going to start slowly with one corner. Everything is slightly sticky because of the backing of this leather and the dacron kind of against each other. But it's still an open space, so we can make it. Go slowly from side to side. And trust me, it might look like it doesn't want to go in, but it will be just fine in a minute. I'm focusing a lot on the, on the corners and I cannot stress enough. So your hand always has to constantly be um, with the corners right there. Now I'm going to take my cushion and put it against the floor. I'm kind of tap it down at the same time I'm pushing. Pushing down, pushing forward. I'm taking my hands and I'm trying not to mess anything inside. And I'm trying to make it to the end. In the same time, you want to focus on this line. Make sure it's aligning. And I'm pushing my lines inside.
with your finger inside, with your hands inside, you just bring everything to the corners. Push corner to corner. Because you don't want flimsy corners. Now it's not easy, but uh, so you have to you have to get it there. So do a little bit at a time. This is looking okay. Now we're gonna move on the other side. So keep everything centered with your hands. Focus again on these edges. And now let's go on the other side. Don't worry about this too much yet. Just turn it around. Come on, do the same. So as you move your hands inside, make sure this, this edge comes up. So you want to tuck everything. Except this part in here because it's a very thick one. Keep working on it. Now I'm gonna put my hands inside. And now I'm gonna push everything there, those edges, make sure. At least I can see it's pretty snug, that makes me happy. I'm gonna try to close it. So what I do when I'm closing it, right here I'm pushing down with my fingers. I don't want to catch that phone or what that card. And then I'm going to work on those corners later on. Um, so I'm pushing everything, pulling everything down, and as I'm closing it, as I'm closing it, I'm pulling it in my hand, make sure everything is in place. this is it guys i really hope you enjoyed my video uh, please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet i'm gonna keep you excited with uh, random projects like this um this is the do it all channel let me know if you have any questions and suggestions um, once again for business purpose you can contact me i'm in pembroke pines